I'm Adam. And I'm Nathan, and we're from a, a band called The Boxer Band. You're watching Bagel Music. in a study abroad program and I just, um, I met Todd uh, who had just moved over from Australia and, and we just started playing some uh, acoustic gigs together and we decided to kind of flesh it out and start a band and these guys are the first and only people to uh, respond so uh, it was weird because we weren't, you know, we weren't schoolhood friends uh, or childhood friends. Schoolhood? That's kind of weird. Yeah, I can say that. Yeah. I think, I think, can I make play, I think people won't know to the point of you being able to get away with it. Right. Uh, childhood friends. We yeah, we, we weren't that. So. We've, we've been together long enough to kind of have created a shared history. Um, you know, that other bands sometimes start off with. I think that our, our differences actually add to who we are and hopefully, hopefully add to our originality as songwriters and then we've all got different influences and, and you know from three different continents uh, as a unit so I think I think if it I think if it works it works well and hopefully works originally. I don't think any one particular track represents the whole album, so, which which we went for. So um, uh, it's just it's just one piece yeah. of the puzzle. In case, in case of giving someone the best sample that you think is going to grab their attention. Our new album's called The Cold Still. <laughs> Ethan John's produced our new album. Yeah, and he was the only name on our list, yeah. and uh, and we were happy. Happy to work with him and hand the reins over because of the music that he's done in the past. We wanted to depressurize, I guess. On the second album, uh, it was just a lot of headspace that, um, and 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 sometimes it's good, and sometimes it's bad for that. Um, whereas this, it's great to have uh, another opinion that you trust, and especially um, from someone that you we really looked up to. I mean, uh, Ethan uh, has done some of our favorite albums in the past, and so we wholeheartedly let him kind of direct it. Most of it, uh, everything live. Yeah. And, uh, it always tracked it. Yeah, we, mm -hmm. we for the first time we did it where we were we were pretty much tracking it together. We were set up in a circle, mm -hmm. um, and and we kind of chose to go that way because of what we've learned from our live performances. And I think I think to do an album live, you almost have to have that that experience to be able to pull it off and, and I think we just, we just wanted to reflect our live show in, it, in our album uh, and vice versa. I mean we've played, this album's going to be a lot easier to play live because that's, that's how we recorded it.